Hi, I'm Jeff Doyle. Welcome to this episode of Tracking 200. In the Adirondacks today, at the Ad again. Finally got some snow. Yep, let's go do it. All right. You ever hunted here before? No, nope, never been here before. No. So we got an adventure today. Pretty cold and nasty, but. It's supposed to get six inches of snow today. Okay, some hard work, we might get into one. Well, we decided to separate for a bit. We're gonna both walk around different sides of this mountain. I got a couple of old tracks in the snow here. One of them's pretty darn big. Could be melted out from uh, previous snow, but I'm sticking with this trail, just kind of wandering back and forth because if the deer are using it before, they're gonna be on it again. Tough to cut a fresh track, but just putting the miles on today, hopefully I'll bump something, catch one. I don't think they're gonna be going too far today. There's all kinds of old deer sign in here. I actually don't know, maybe it's a bear track. That's why I was saying it looks like it might be melted out buck track, but maybe a bear. I don't know yet. Yeah, that's the bear track. He stepped right up there on the log. The beech nuts are out heavy in the Adirondack, so their bears have been out late. Nice windy day today. best part about Black Friday, turkey sandwiches. So I just got a call on the radio. Dad jumped a deer. That's a good sign. I got this track right here. It looks like it could be a small bear track. I'm gonna see if it goes right up into that root ball.
looks like it did go in there. Probably where it will end up hibernating or considering at least. Continuing up on the knob there. Street bedded, but it had been feeding a little bit. Really? Yeah. So I was super fresh track, so I knew, and then it started feeding, and 50 yards later, it bedded. Okay, so you jumped it by the time you noticed? Not sure. Probably not. That's good that you got. Yeah, it looks all right, dear. As soon as I saw the track, I started looking at the back track. Hoping a buck would be coming. <laughs> hey, do you want my shirt? I got an extra shirt if you're cold and wet. I'm okay. You got an extra shirt? I got my rain jacket. Gloves are. Fingers got cold. Yeah. I was okay. just doing another circle here. <laughs> Not for me? No. Just oh. thinking I was going one way and then it's going another. Well, we've separated now, and we're just both go working north. I walked west for about 10 minutes first, so we've got a bit of distance between us, and we're just gonna parallel hunt back towards the truck. It's close to two o'clock already. I know there's more snow coming in tonight, and I uh, haven't seen much for deer tracks here, so just cruising real fast. Well, I've been cranking right along. Still haven't seen a deer track. Not a fresh one at least, but um, been turned around a couple times now. There's no sunlight, right? I can't see the mountains because it's snowing. It's easy to get spun right around. And uh, that's why it's so important to have a compass. And folks probably noticed, I've got this compass right here on the stock of my gun. And what I like doing with it is I can be walking and turn it up and let it set so that it'll rotate to the direction that's north. And then I can look down and check my, check my direction without having to stop. It's a nice little, real nice little feature to have here. So I've been using that quite a bit just to keep from getting spun around. And I'm kind of headed uh, north-northwest right now. So I just... Holding the gun and flip it up, check. <laughs> I've been, been going the wrong direction every now and then, so I gotta stay right on top of that.
Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Tracking 200. It's kind of a long walk in the park today. About six miles, we caught one track. Yeah, small dull track. Tough conditions, but it's always good hunting with your dad. Yep, nice hunting with you, hon. All right, we'll see you on the trail.